and welcome. My name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. Today we are going to be looking at free build mode. We are in Terra Incognita or something and I'm just going to be showing you around, showing you what's new, showing you the features. For those of you who don't have the game and would still like to know how free build mode works, this is nothing spectacular, this is just my little building area, it's nothing amazing. I have actually built something to the left of me, but I'm going to try and not to show you because there is going to be a separate video up very shortly after this one. So I'm going to start off with this. When you go into free build mode, there's not really much that's different, like, that you can build than the main story, apart from this little thing. This is your colour wheel, so you can make all different types of colours of blocks. But this is like the only real thing that's like new, like there's not really that many blocks because you have to unlock the blocks from the story. So obviously I have some exclusive ones, the exclusive is the top one, Spring Tide Sprinkles. What this is, is it, is it turns normal trees into cherry blossom trees. I've actually never tried it, I don't have enough plumberries. Damn it, I don't have plumberries to try it. Slimy Blocks, which is a, an exclusive one as well, and Gold Blocks, I might have some. Um, by the way, this massive thing here is our substitute for the colossal chest. It looks really strange. I just want to see if I can find these blocks for you guys so you can see what these look like because these are my exclusive ones and I haven't had the chance to show you yet. So here's the slime blocks. I really like the slime blocks. I think they look really cool. I'm going to have to build something with these at some point but I haven't actually used them yet. And also here are the gold blocks so you can make like an entire house out of golden blocks. Really, really, really cool. But other than the colour wheel. There's not really a whole lot that is new compared to like what you could build in the story mode because I've only finished chapter 1 just so that I could have this unlocked. But you can see if you go into the furnace, I think the only real new thing that you can build is, let me find it, is the naughty night light. I really want to make one of these but you need silvery sludge to be able to make it which is dropped from silver slimes and they're like quite rare. found one in the story mode but I only ever found one and I can't for the life of me find one in free build mode. If anybody does know where to find the silver slimes in free build mode like the area or just somewhere that I can go and look then I would really really appreciate that because I really want to make one of these night lights. They look really cool. But yeah you can build a fireplace. You couldn't build fireplaces before but I have had them before in the story mode. Round table, that's the table I got from the golems, armors, stoves, there's like a couple of new decorations but there's really not a whole lot of choice. Oh, the forbidden altar as well is another crafting station and it crafts like demonic, like creepy looking objects, which is really cool. Other than that, I don't really think there's much here that you can build. I will show you the creepy crafting ulcer so you can see what you can build there. So on this you can build the Dragon Lord Standard. I've never built one of these yet because you need silk and I'm not sure how to get silk yet. It must be something I unlock. Vile tiles, draconic columns, vile visage or visage, evil idol, beastly burrow and heli portal. Some really cool objects there, really evil demonic stuff. And there's these tickets as well. There's like some kind of coliseum with monsters but I've never actually gone into it yet because I'm not sure how you get the tickets. You, ha you need like a blank ticket and like some of them require more than one ticket and I just don't know how to get it. Um, also if anyone knows how to get the tickets I would love to know because I'm not actually sure. I'd love to have a little go in the coliseum, that would be awesome. So I may have mentioned it before but you do actually still need to gather in free build mode and you will have these little teleporters that go to different locations so through here there will be monsters and stuff like that and that's how you get all your materials so I've only unlocked one so far so this leads to Terra Australis which is basically Damdara Desert the Hammerhood place and the area of the rock bombs so all three teleporters that we unlocked in the first chapter this is basically all of them combined into one so you have to go through there and look for your materials that way. There is also something that's quite interesting on this game and might help you out if you are building a lot on free build mode. If you go over to the save point there is actually a reset button. I always had a problem with stone in the story mode but on here you can go reset islands and you can reset 
and it will reset to its original state it's the teleporter area and what that means is that all the materials that you have gathered will come back like all the stone and that that you've gathered will all come back and then you can gather it all again and then you won't ever have a stone problem which is really really cool all right the next thing I want to show you is the sharing feature I really want to show you this because I think this is an awesome little feature so as you can see here there's these little summoning stones and you can summon other people's creations into your world so you can either summon at random or use a summoning spell summoning spells are like codes each building has a code and if you input the code it will spawn people's creations in the difference being with summoning at random and summoning with a code if you summon with a code the building won't disappear but if you summon at random it will keep rotating random buildings in the share area so this is something somebody else has built here it's called Toff's home you can name them and everything still doing the roof so he's still doing the roof you can put little notice boards outside and stuff nobody can modify anything you've done look as you can see here I can't change anything I can't delete his blocks so they've got like a little thing going on where you uh, can't like grief like in Minecraft there was all that griefing going on and stuff so at least they've done something to stop that you can't use anything in their house either it's literally just to look at you can only use the doors and you can like sit on objects and stuff but that's it really so this is quite a nice house he could work on doing the flooring though <laughs> it's quite small though I'm really excited to show what I've built as well I'll be doing that very shortly probably like an hour after this video or something it's gonna be really soon after Okay, so let's see if anybody's built anything fantastic. The best thing I've seen that somebody has shared so far, oh, I like this little treasure room, is I've seen a house, a house that's built to look like a slime. And it's like a slime house and you can go in and it's like really, it was really cool. It was like the best thing I've ever seen that somebody's shared so far. But most of the buildings are quite, how do you put it, quite simple and boring and just not very amazing but the game is still kind of new out so I guess people haven't really explored the share feature much yet people are still like building stuff experimenting that kind of thing so it's all good it's all good so I'm just having a little look around it's yeah I noticed that everybody seems to leave the flooring out nobody ever does the floor for some reason they always leave it dirt for some odd reason but okay so this is this building there might be another one at the end someone down here we just have a little look just sometimes people write like hi in dirt and then share it it's quite funny hi I've seen quite a lot of builds like that you may also have noticed that villagers actually come into your base and build for you just like in the story mode the only difference being is that if you talk to them they ask me if they would like to come with me what that means is they can join your party and they can come with you through the teleportal and help you fight monsters that's the only real dis difference I think it's a cool feature and he'll still carry on making me stuff around my town and that so really cool really cool I like how we still have people building for us and stuff I wonder if I wonder if I had a bigger town if I would have more people I'm not really sure because I've only built this little bit just so I could have them in my base you can also favorite residents so they always come to your base like all the time so you also get I don't know how you do it I think there's a summon there we go summon residents so there's like these little slimes as well that sometimes pop over so you get like little monsters and stuff coming over and trying to join your base so far I've had slimes I think I had a bat and I think I had a couple of other monsters it was quite funny to see them like just walking around your base that's about it for free build mode though thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed please comment rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time